tried to do with TDS was look at all the various problems that we're having and try to solve those. So some of the things, for example, were uh, initially just how to make it easier for a team of five or six or seven people to work on a site core implementation. Um, back when we started, those were considered fairly large implementations, and uh, we tried to target that. Uh, the next thing we tried to solve was, you know, the, the whole process of collecting all of the changes that a, develop, that a development team has made and then trying to uh, get them committed to, to uh, source control and then finally to production. So what we really tried to do is take, I guess the core of TDS Classic was to try to take the um, uh, SDLC that we were used to using for code and try to turn Sitecore development into that. So I think, um, you know, from the start, you're actually putting your items with your code into source control. So the two actually are very closely related, dependent on each other. And the fact that you're moving them together through environments, through source control, with the rest of your team, means that you're not breaking your site from missing items or missing code or whatever. Um, it's just a single source of truth that you're keeping together. Um, on top of that, you can get into the more advanced features of TDS that can actually protect you from breaking your site. We have things like environment validation where it will check that you're not pushing a DLL that's a different version from what's already there. You can do things like checking that packages are already installed in your site and making sure that you're not going to push something thinking it's there but it's not. Then you can add validators to make sure that your items aren't pushing things that they shouldn't. So imagine you push the home page, but you're pushing developer content to that home page. That could be horrible because then your front end users of the website are suddenly seeing Laura Mipsum everywhere. You don't want that happening. So TDS protects against that. And on top of that, you know, this is an enterprise tool with full commercial support. So we're there to help you with all of these features that can help improve both your development efficiency, but also protecting you against breaking your own website.